Hello people of the internet, I'm the man with the plan and welcome back to the Kilmac League. Today we have Tesco, Bally Big Wanderers and Kiersey's United to round off an excellent week of football for, uh, room, or for room 26? Week 26. Uh, it's been very exciting so far. Uh, we began the week with a very evenly matched contest between AS Lavens and um, uh, shit, who do AS Lavens and Central United of course. And we ended with another hotly um, anticipated contest, this time between Tesco Bally Big Wanderers and Kiersey's United. Uh, Kiersey's haven't lost very many games all season. Tesco Bally Big, though, have been a very consistent team. Um, they have um, struggled a bit since losing Eugene Power, but they do look to rebound. And uh, it won't be long, I predict, before we see a lot of that um, uh, trying to yield some results. Kiersey United will be hoping it's not them to lose today. And uh, they haven't lost uh, many games at all this season, as I said. Uh, so yeah, they'll be a very tough team to break down. So all of this promises to be an unstoppable force versus an immovable object scenario. This could only mean good football for us. So and we're 90 minutes away from finding out who wins this game. And oh, oh Mosala is dispossessed there, and it's Mouseman takes it. And uh, it's Matango Bongo. He's always played in Hoogie Bapa Spinji here, and it's. Oh, and then. Uh, oh, it's still there, and I can't believe it. Hoogie Bapa Spinji. Oh, he, can't, he couldn't sort his feet out. Oh, he had the ball in an open net waiting for it, and everything. And Spinji now. And Matango Bongo. And shoot, and it's saved. And now here's Hepatitis C. Hepatitis C tries to clear it, and now. And that ball's just hoofed away. And here's Mouseman. Mouseman shoots first time. Oh my god, what a goal! And Mouseman has scored an unbelievable strike to get the ball rolling for Kiersey's United. And, uh, whoa, you, you wouldn't have expected that at all. It's, oh, man, uh, Hepatitis C cleared it and he thought that was the end of that for now. But, oh, Mouseman just caught them all by surprise. Even Iker Casillas wasn't expecting that. And it just kind of cleared away the first time there. And, ah, oh, in fairness, you don't expect that to come at that. But Mouseman just catches it so cleanly here. And, ah, oh, Casillas, he just can't quite get there in time. It is going so fast past his head. It's 1 0 at goal of the season contender at, for sure. And uh, I can see us now. Uh, Buzz it away. And it's headed. And Span Conkley X has won that. And Bonyek has it. And Babongo. And now, oh, Hoogie Bapa Spinji's been played in here. There surely has to be another goal. And it's rolled into the bottom right hand corner by Hoogie Bap Bap Spinji. And who else for Kiersey's United? The top goal scorer adds yet another to his impressive tally. That is, uh, by the way, a rather impressive. Um, uh, adds to a rather impressive statistic there for um, uh, Hoogie Bapa Spinji. Um, he has now scored um, 27 goals in 26 games. Um, he is, I think, the leading scorer in the Kilmac League. He might not be. I ha I'll have to verify that. But as far as I know, he is the highest uh, scorer in the Kilmac League. So, yeah. Hey, if Kirsties don't win the league, at least he'll win the Golden Boot. And uh, now, we, as, as we approach half time, and oh, that ball is given away, and it won't matter though because we <laughs> reach half time. 2 0. Kiersey's look to be in control here. And that's Thierry Henry. Henry now he's curling inside, and oh, that's um, blocked by uh, Ropap Kip Dipley. It's a corner though for Tesco. They have a chance here to score. And they do something with it. Josh Ryan is the one to hit it in. He's um, He knows about hitting in the right corner, and he's oh, he's done it again. And this time. It's uh, Jake McCormick who's headed it in, and that was a bullet header to near post. No one saw that coming. I didn't see that one going. Holy shit. And uh, all of a sudden, Tesco have a huge shot in the arm that uh, gets them back into this game. And, uh, well, no celebrations as of yet, understandably so, but uh, yeah, it's a very good header. And the bullet flies off his forehead. Fucking hell. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, as I said, Josh has experience hitting in corners that result in goals, and, uh, well, yeah, that's another one you can add. And, yeah, there's not much you can do there. That is just, uh, you know, headed into the right spot and everything. 2-1 uh, to uh, And Here's a Bonyek. And, uh, oh, he's got a man on the overlap, and he plays Bangkok Leax, and the ball is hit in. But Bongo! Oh, my God, how close was that? Just whizzed past the post there. What a goal that would have been. That's indeed another uh, very good attacking chance there for uh, Kiersey's United. In a series of long, in a long series of those. And, oh fuck! What about that? And uh, Bonyek, Hoogie Beppa Spinji now has it. 
And the ball over the top. Matango Babango. He has to try and get in. Oh, and he's dispossessed. Hepatitis C. Matango Babango has rounded off the game for Kersey United. 3 1. In the 90th minute. And you have to feel for Tesco Belly Big. They, um, oh, they tried really hard there, but um, oh, it's just a mistake in the end that costs them. And uh, Matango Babango feeds off mistakes like those. And uh, trying to play his strike partner in. Spingy hit, flicked it over the top, but Hepatitis C. Oh, he just knocked it into the path. Knocked it around his own goalkeeper, Iker Casillas. And uh, despite the best efforts of both to try and get back and block the shot from going in, Babango had it all to himself. And that will uh, do it. I think I'm going to get the outro out of the way now. I've been around with the plan. Thank you for watching my videos. If you'd like to see more of those dexes, then please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. As for this one, though, uh, before we get to look at the table, um, it's been a very convincing win for Kearsey's United. Um, a disaster for Tesco Belly Big. They would have hoped to have gotten at least, gotten at least a point out of this. But they're not going to. And, uh, yeah, a very resounding win. 3-1 for Kearsey's United. That's another huge result for them on the road to another league uh, challenge. They were so unlucky last season. And you have a feeling this could be their year. But first, a look at the league table. Okay, um, so um, we have the bottom half of the table up now. And as you can see, uh, it's very much unchanged. We're starting to see the mould uh, form anyway. And uh, it just looks like um, there's a gap between 15th and 14th there. Dominant Street is in bad way. And Greenway Rovers, of course, with the 10-point gap between them. And that's not going to be overcome. However, the top three teams in the bottom half do have a chance of breaking into the top half, which we're going to have a look at right now. So, CF Dungarvan hold up the bottom of it. Greenway Astros ahead of them by three points. Central United. And Kirsty's United, of course, needed that win, as you can see. They jump up to seventh. Tesco Bally Bay still remain in third, but they are six points behind Kilmac now, as opposed to three that they would have been if they'd won this game. And uh, really, it's all looking very close at the top. You know, there's 12 points between the bottom or between the top 10. So, uh, you know, we still have plenty of football to play in the Kilmac League, and it could all change very quickly. So, uh, be sure to stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you in next week's episode.